for daily ask reddit. Military people, have you ever slept with someone foreign while stationed overseas and if so, what's the story there? I was in Greece for a port call and met this girl at a bar slash music event. Got liquored up and she takes me back to her place and we do our thing. I had overnight liberty, so I didn't have to be back for two days for duty section so I stayed. Woke up the next morning and went to slide out and her entire damn family was sitting around the table eating breakfast. It was an oduck moment. I didn't know until then that they are one big happy family living together. It was clear what happened with her and I so I thought her father and her one brother might want to have a word with me. Nope they all invited me to sit down and fixed me a cretin pie or whatever they called it and I chatted with them for a bit. At first it was weird and I thought they were going to try to stab me but they were wonderful people. I never got with a foreigner while overseas, though if you count Hawaii as being overseas, I met my girlfriend who's from Hawaii while stationed at Hickam. We did get a warning about hooking up with foreign women and cheating on your significant other while in basic training though. One of the drill instructors told us a story about a guy who was married with kids and was on an unaccompanied tour in Korea, unaccompanied means his family wasn't with him. While in Korea he managed to get a Korean girlfriend and even got engaged to her without telling her he had a family back in the states. When it was time for him to leave Korea, he just up and left without even so much of a word to his Korean mistress. So this Korean woman discovered where this guy and his family lived in Texas and flew there with her sister, rented a car and drove to his house and raised holy hell on his front yard in front of him and his whole family. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. My grandfather had an illegitimate child that the family only knew about post death. He hid that his whole life. My grandmother only found out when the child, now adult, reached out to the family from the UK. I guess he was messing. WWII around and impregnated a woman, knew about it, and left the country to avoid being a parent. I feel sorry for the kid who grew up not knowing their father, but I really feel sorry for your grandmother. Assuming they were together during WWII of course. What a dreadful blow, even after all that time. I should have married her, but I was young and very very stupid. And immature. But it's all good 17 years later, after a lot of bad relationships, I had paid it. But occasionally, late at night, I admit I wonder what might have been. What is this like? I'm currently kinda dealing with other one that got away situation, and I'm wondering if I'll still be ruminating on it in the future. It's mostly regret, but stupid regret. I was too immature to have a relationship, as seen in the next two I got into, so it would have ended badly. Who I'm now could have had a great relationship, but who I'm now is in part a product of not being with her. If you like who you are, you have to appreciate that you're the sum of all your experiences, good and bad. Best thing to do is learn why they got away and figure out how to not let it happen in the future. Use bad experiences as life lessons. When I was single all the married guys used me as an excuse to go to clubs. About 3 months into my second tour in Germany, me and a friend went clubbing. A young lady celebrating her birthday noticed me, told her friend. Her friend lied to me and said she wanted to talk to me. We talked. That was April 1998. We are still together 3 kids and a cat. I'm female and got out of the military a few years ago. I honestly regret that I never did. I met a guy on Tinder in Germany once and thought for sure it was going down. He came over to my apartment, I was ready. Turned out he was Albanian and very religious and he really was only interested in Netflix and chilling. After that I met the guy who is still my so to this day, so I never did get the chance. My old boss was in the army when he was young and was stationed somewhere in Asia. He met a woman there and she came back with him to the UK. They have been married for over 40 asterisk years and have grandchildren. Edit, I forgot to mention that he was my manager of producer at a superstore and his wife worked in the store bakery. Occasionally I would see their grandkids, which were around my age. Not my story exactly but 
My dad was stationed in Germany around 1985 and got into a relationship with an English woman. He gets sent back to America and later meets my mom. My mom overhears my dad shit talking with some military friends about this English woman and crazy lies, but didn't really think it was true. Flash forward to 2018 and turns out that my dad in fact got that English woman pregnant and just up left her after he got orders to go back to America. She goes to his commander to try and stop this or something to this effect I'm not too sure. He tells his commander that it's all bullshit. She's a crazy bitch please, don't make him stay. So he goes, and this woman raises his kid without anyone ever finding out. The child of this relationship finally found my dad in 2018 and well, now I have an English half brother. Even more weird, my dad has another daughter from wife hash to who he insisted, had to be called Alex and this English child is a son also named Alex. My family and I believe he fully knew about this kid and per usual just didn't give enough shits to take responsibility.